Hi folks, I'm Alex Vidikov and before you start to watch this video I want to talk about this video a little bit. If you have uh, trouble with your Korg M3 touch display so this definitely would be a good video for you to watch especially there is no more videos on YouTube as far as I know because I wish when I started doing this, there would be somebody showing uh, how to do this. So for me, it will be much easier, you know, to see what I need to do and then uh, just go and do it. Also, uh, this video would be good for anybody basically who owns the Korg M3 and who's curious, you know, what's inside the Korg 3, or how it's constructed. You know, I'm always curious about stuff like that. Also, uh, this is pretty long video. I know that. And uh, I couldn't make it faster because basically I had to do a few things at once. I had to be, you know, reading the manual, which came with the touch panel. And just, you know, to see the steps and uh, what the steps are to do this process. Also, I had to watch what I'm doing. Be careful, you know, follow and uh, be careful with my tools not to break anything. Be careful to follow exactly the instructions. Plus, I had to watch uh, my camera if it's doing right angle, you know, a nice picture on the screen. And I also had, you know, I have had to talk to explain in what what I'm doing and it was kind of you know too many things at once to do so the video came um, pretty good I mean most uh, most of it very useful uh, some of this could be redundant but I don't think so so this video I think came out pretty good for as an instructional video you know and uh, I'm certain this will be helpful to anyone who uh, need to to change the display actually it's not that like horrible complicated thing to do uh, if you carefully watch the instructions and you know doing things careful but it's definitely will help you if you have done you know some work before with electronics so you will know what not to touch uh, and how you know to work carefully and plus i think it's worse to do it yourself because to fix your display like when it's not working properly uh it's gonna cost you money probably around 250 300 dollars as minimum but if you do it yourself if you buy just this touch panel from the ebay it, as i did uh, i bought it for 38 bucks including shipping and I've done the work myself so <clears throat> it was a pretty inexpensive thing to fix this which is good so just you know watch the video and follow the instruction manual uh, and you will be fine of doing this by yourself so enjoy this video so this is my Korg M3 expanded and lately the display doing strange things it's not working properly. The menu button which is here usually when you touch this it will give you drop down menu and you can do some operations with that but as you see right now it's not giving me that, that menu so and <clears throat> recommendations would be first go to global and go to this uh, window and normally you can calibrate the display so it will work properly and to do this you have to touch this square and then touch this square and then press OK and if 
see this is drop down menu now working but sometime it doesn't give me the option to calibrate it so to avoid this problem I went to Cork forum and people saying it would be a good idea to change display what they call it touchpad so basically I bought this touchpad on eBay and it was pretty cheap it was $38 including shipping and if this would help to solve this problem that would be great so now I'm gonna open the M3 and it's not gonna be easy but we'll see To get to the, to the screen, to the display, you have to unscrew screws from the back panel, which is these three screws, these three screws, there is five screws on one side and five screws on another side. So I already took it off those screws and now I will open the bag and I will try to disassemble the whole thing so I can <clears throat> take out the the screen display so since the screws are now unscrewed that's you take the panel out and I have taken this connector of the panel of this so and just secured it with the tape Touch panel came with the installation guide. It shows you step by step how to do this. So the installation guide says first disconnect ribbon cable CN16A from the smaller board on top carefully. So and this is CN16A. It says right here CN16A. And this ribbon we need to disconnect. Seems like it has some uh, guides here. So disconnect ribbon cable. And no instructions how to do this. Just try at your own risk. I don't know if I broke. Did I break this? Have I break this or have I not? Okay, it's coming out. It's really tough, but it seems like coming out. Yes, it's really hard to do. You have to pull really hard. So this is CN16A. Now, the next one. Disconnect power connector CN5A, CN6A, CN3A, CN12B, CN2A, CN4A. Connectors from bigger PC main board. So this is CN2A, this is CN4A, 
this is CN5, CN6, A. This is so basically, yes, you have to disconnect 4A and just remember which one is is which so this is cn4a cn4a green mark okay then cn2a cn2a Okay, then CN12B, that's this one. Twelve B. Okay. Then CN three A. It's this one. Okay. CN six A. This one. CN six A. This one. And CN five A. This one. Okay. So total of one, two, three, four, five, six connectors. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, <clears throat> remove three screws on bigger PCB mainboard and three screws from back and take to attach board out carefully. Don't remove any screws from a smaller PC board. Okay, so three screws. One, one, three, two and three and also three screws from the back I think they're talking about these three screws one two and three because of all this stuff it's connected to the board three screws from this board from this board three screws from this board okay three screws from this board and three screws from back now and take two attached boards out carefully Do, don't remove any screws from the smaller board okay so these two boards okay, can be taken out now which is yes And now it says disconnect wire C and 9B and C and 19 from PCM KLM KLM 2649. So this is 2649. What is this? Okay. This is the board. It says twenty six forty nine right here. 
So you need to disconnect CN9B, this one, and CN19, this one. Basically, yes, because there is only two. Okay. So you're disconnecting this one. I'm assuming it has to slide out this way. Yes. And this one. Okay. And this one. <clears throat> Disconnect wire CNB6 from PCB KLM2646, which is a pad board. 6B is this one. And this is KLM2646. Okay, this is pad board. So disconnect this wire. A lot of wires to be disconnected and it's easy very easy to do mistakes I think I think it's very easy okay <clears throat> now disconnect the tiny ribbon cable CN18A CN18 in from touch panel and tiny ribbon cable they talking about is they talking about this tiny ribbon cable CN18A CN18A right here disconnect this one okay 15B, that's this one. CN13A is this one. So disconnect ribbon. Cable. Disconnect this one. Uh -huh. This one. Now Remove all screws from the metal chassis and take the metal chassis out. This is a little, little and take, okay. So chassis, this one, this one, and where is it? This one, this one, and this one, I guess. There is nothing else. Yeah, and the chassis. I'm assuming I'm right. And now take these screws, disconnect the screws from chassis. Okay, and I will keep these screws in a separate place. There's nothing else to do. Can be done. Have to unscrew this. Just losing it. Just losing it. Now, only one screw I see what's holding it is this one. It's a good thing that all screws are the same size. So, 
you cannot mix them and you can it's would be much harder if they would be this different sizes then it's easier to okay something is holding this thing something else is holding this thing and doesn't let me take it out okay seems like it's coming out little by little I just have to be careful with it have to be more careful not to break anything because then because then it will be much harder okay so finally I got this so this is touch touchpad so this is how it sits here let me just take the one I bought and see how are they identical okay the size is same ribbon is a little different but the connectors seems like same if this will go like this then they will be the same 